Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your mid-month reading for the month of July 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a fairly timeless reading. It doesn't matter when you watch this. When you're guided to watch it is when you are, when it's the message is most likely going to resonate for you at that time. Yes? <clears throat> also keep in mind, we could be talking to a cross-watcher so just place it in your life however it fits. All right, Virgo, I'm going to get into this. So I've got your pre-shuffle here. And I ended up having to pull twice. I don't normally do that. I usually just pull once and whatever comes out is what I read into and then we move forward from there. However, when I first pulled, I got the Hierophant, okay? Which is not necessarily a bad thing. I just didn't quite understand because... Under, at the bottom of the deck at that time was the Two of Cups. So we're talking about some sort of relationship here. So then I, um, I decided to pull a little bit more just to get a deeper understanding of what's going on here. And that after well, once I did that, we have, coupled with the Hierophant now, we have the Star with the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Cups. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Swords to the nine of pentacles. I feel like somebody, Virgo, somebody here is about to get, it's about to be made an offer, is what I just heard. Whether this be you, Virgo, making the offer to somebody else um, on a romantic level, right? Because we did have that two of cups. Um, either it's you making the offer, Virgo, or it's somebody else making an offer to you. But the thing about this is, first of all, it, ha it comes from commitment. Now, also, the other thing that was um, that was kind of confusing me uh, was the fact that the Hierophant here, the first thing that I picked up from the Hierophant is, yes, commitment, okay, but um, somebody is playing by the rules here. And that was a little confusing at first because I didn't quite understand if this was a good thing or a bad thing. And to be honest with you, Virgo, I still don't really understand or I can't really figure out if it really is a good thing. I mean, like, it feels like a good thing because of the structure involved. But when I saw this Hierophant energy for you, Virgo, I felt somebody is playing by the rules and it's a very Virgo type situation or a very Virgo thing to do. Uh... Virgo can be very conservative, can be very traditionalist, can, can really vibe well with the institutionalized energies of the Hierophant because of the structure, the order, the organization that is involved in any sort of institution, right? I just, and maybe this is just my personal thing that's coming through here, I'm just not sure whether this is ultimately going to be a good thing or a bad thing. Because also with the Hierophant and the star here, it's like, okay, there's some sort of wish fulfillment or maybe there's some sort of wish fulfillment that you see or that you're trying to move forward towards and you're taking a very conservative or a very traditional route to get there. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, on the other hand though, like, it would be rem remiss of me to not say this because I I'm reading through this intuitively. I'm not sure, ultimately, that this is going to take you where you want to go. There is going to be healing involved, yes. But for some of you, I feel like this healing involved is actually going to help you break out of this type of structure, this kind of cookie cutter um, so social norm, societally influenced decision or path that you're looking to take. It also could be that um, it also could be that the star is here in terms of this because this is how you kind of um, this is what you wished for. This is what you hoped for. You're very much involved with the typical societal structure. And I'm not trying to say that that's bad in any way, okay? I'm just, I, I, I just, again, it would be remiss of me to not mention this because I'm feeling it and I'm trying to be as authentic with you guys as possible and re as real with you guys as possible. Like, 
I mean, it would defeat the purpose of me sitting here doing this reading for you if I didn't give you all of the things that I'm feeling. Again, take it with a grain of salt, though, because if you know me, if you've been following me long enough, you know I'm not really a fan of this institutionalized energy. I'm not a fan of, of one size fits all. I'm not a fan of cookie cutter. We are not made that way. We were not, we did not come into this world as individuals just to end up the same as everybody else. We weren't even made the same as everybody else. You know what I mean? So while, while that feels like a bit of a challenging aspect, it also in the long run, Virgo, feels good because ultimately I feel like this is going to help you get down to the bottom of what it is you truly want or who it is you truly are. And that could be a struggle ultimately. Like what I'm seeing with the star here for you, Virgo, is you have a vision and you're gonna go after it. But what you don't realize is ultimately this vision is not what you think or what it is you're pursuing or what it is you think you know you want at this point. That's what the seven of cups in reverse is saying. There's no uh, beating around the bush about it any longer. There's no more confusion about it any longer. A decision has been made. Now, even as I say that, I feel like there's a part of you, some of you out there are dreading this. You know that the direction that you're moving in ultimately is not going to bring you where you want to go. But that is still a good thing because there are things to learn in this process. That's the other thing that the higher thought represents. One of the other things. Higher learning. Okay? So... And ultimately, it's going to take you where you want to go, the star, in the future. I mean, like, regardless as to what happens, <clears throat> you could see this as a stepping stone, Virgo. It's going to help you understand what it is you truly want. It's going to help you understand what it is you truly feel. And you may be in this point right now thinking that you know what it is you feel or you know what it is you want, but there's something, there's something about the star here. That's pretty mysterious. That's like, yeah, we're taking you where you want to go, but the Hierophant is saying there's a little bit of a detour that's necessary here for you to really get a deeper understanding or for you to learn more. I hope that made sense, Virgo. I'm going to reset. I'm going to reset. And we're going to get into the rest of your mid-month reading, yeah? Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising signs for a uh, uh, better, bigger picture view as to what could be going on for you at this moment. Also, check your Venus sign if you're looking for love messages specifically, both your Venus sign and that of your potential mate or your actual partner. You have the Ace of Wands here, Virgo. That just came, flipped over. Um, something about this doesn't feel right. Something about this doesn't feel right, Virgo. I'm not going to lie to you. Something about this does not feel right. You have the Ace of Wands. Oh, see? Shit. There it is. You have the Ace of Wands, and you have the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So what this is saying to me here is that somebody... Well, I'm sorry. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Four of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. But the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. I feel like somebody's trying to take the easy way out. Not going to lie to you, Virgo. I feel like someone's trying to take the easy way out. They have this sense of conviction, Ace of Wands. Uh, they have what they think is the ultimate truth, Ace of Swords, because they've meditated on it. They've thought about it. They've felt it out. It feels right to them, so they're going to go forward with it. But there's something here that they're not working on. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And what this feels like here is it feels like somebody or you, Virgo, are taking the easy way out because there's some sort of hard work that you don't want to do. And that most likely has to do with self-work. At the bottom of the deck now is the Seven of Swords. Something doesn't feel right about this, Virgo. But ultimately, either you or the person that we're talking about here will benefit from going, fo from going forward with this process because ultimately there are things that they will learn from it. Okay. Seven of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the Seven of Swords is the... It, I wanted to say the devil, but it's not. It's the strength. Ego. Sense of pride. 
Oh my goodness. Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Oh, oh, oh. Something about this doesn't feel right, Virgo. I'm, I, whatever. Let's just get into the rest of this here and see what else we've got. I'm going to continue. Let me, uh, oh, see, there's the higher fun again. And the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There's something to be learned here. There's something to be learned here. Okay. But I just heard it's deceptive in nature. Something is not right, Virgo. Something's not right. Ace of Pentacles again with the Hanged Man. And the world. Honestly, Virgo, we, we're still in the pre-shuffle, okay? But something about this situation that you are being offered or you are going to offer to somebody else is going to put you in a place of being stuck. You're going to be stuck there. You're going to be stuck there for a good amount of time, Virgo. But you're going to learn from it. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. The hanged man represents being, being stuck, yes. But ultimately, when you get down to the nitty gritty of it, there's a sense of enlightenment that comes through with this situation. And then the world is at the bottom of the deck. This ultimately is going to bring an end to a cycle for you. That could have everything to do with institutionalized energies, um, the Hierophant, whatever the Hierophant represents, okay? The Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles, but the Nine of Pentacles came out in reverse. This is your energy, Virgo. You're going to lose your independence somehow. Or somebody's about to lose their independence somehow. And... Gosh, I really, I, I, I want to stop. I don't want to, I really don't want to be too negative here, Virgo. I, because ultimately, I feel like somebody is going to learn a very valuable lesson in this situation. There you are, the hermit. You're going to learn about yourself. You might even be forced to face yourself now. Uh, because you're going to, I, okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell it how I'm seeing it play out in my head. You're going to get into this situation. Somebody's going to get into a situation. They're thinking it's the right thing to do for them because one size fits all cookie cutter energy, so, uh, uh, institutionalized energy, social norms. Well, it, ha it worked for so-and-so. So then it's obviously going to work for me because all my mentors and all my people and this, that, and the third, everybody's like, yeah, do that, do that, do that, you know, but that, but, but they're saying that because it's socially acceptable. And then you're going to get into the situation or somebody's going to get into the situation. It feels like you're not going to, or they're not going to be happy. And then they're going to be forced to face themselves, the hermit and the hanged man. Which is where the learning is going to come in. And the healing, the star, right? Okay, five shuffles for you, Virgo. One. Two. For my Virgos, sun, moon, oops, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month, uh, for the mid-month reading. Yeah, mid-month reading. Yes. This is three. For my Virgos. This is four. And this is five. Very Virgo of you. A good little boy. Being a good little boy or being a good little girl. For the sake of the approval of other people. Very Virgo of you. I'm not trying to be condescending. Even though it's probably coming across that way. If you're being triggered by that, then there's something that you need to look. There's something that you need to look at. There's something that you need to face within yourself about that. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right, Virgo. Overall energy. Starting you off with, okay, the Six of Wands. This is, uh, this is good. The Six of Wands can represent victory. Absolutely. Taking a victory lap. <coughs> it also represents uh, uh, public recognition. 
Okay. What I feel, I'm, I'm Virgo, I'm going to be 100% straight up and honest with you about what it is I'm feeling. I feel like somebody is moving headstrong into a certain situation that maybe already has provided them these accolades or will provide them certain accolades, certain, a certain level of respect or recognition by their peers or the people around them. But something doesn't feel right here, Virgo. The other thing about the Six of Wands could be is that it could be an energy of keeping up appearance, even though things may not be exactly what they look like, even though things may be the exact opposite of the image that someone try, is trying to put portray. Under the Six of Wands is the Empress. Underneath the Empress, though, is the Tower. And then there's the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is giving me a community feeling. It's also giving me a feeling of uh, it's also giving me a feeling of um, unconditional love and ultimate emotional happiness, but it's still connected to the, the group, the collective. This doesn't feel like it's on an individual level. This feels like what you or someone is going after, taking a leap of faith towards the fool, is being influenced by the, the collective mindset, not the individual soul or persons involved. I'm really trying to take my time with this Virgo because I'm not, I, I, I don't want to be too negative. I don't. And I, I feel like there's a sense of happiness here, but I don't know, man. Something just does not feel right with this. The Empress could be representing a mother figure, could also be representing um, a feminine figure. Good Lord. Um, the Empress could represent a false divine feminine figure. I mean, the Six of Wands is a good thing, potentially. But then there's the Tower. Let's continue. First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. You have the world. Okay. Closing out of a cycle. The world is coupled with justice. Yes, Orion. Oh, he's outside. The world and justice. The Tower, the Empress, the Six of Wands. Uh, this could be marriage. This literally could be marriage. Uh, a marriage that is closing out a cycle. Someone may have chosen another person that fits the divine bill. Okay. What I'm getting with the tower is the ending or the closing out of a structure. If that made sense. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. It's the Page of Swords. Seeking, I'm hearing these things. Seeking, lying, cheating, misunderstanding. Page of Swords is coupled with the Ace of Cups. I really don't understand what's going on, Virgo. I'm gonna, I don't understand what's going on. What is this? But something about this isn't right. The challenge here is the Six of Pentacles. Reciprocity, balance between give and take. 
Oh no. Okay, I was just looking at the Empress, Virgo, and the Empress is pregnant. She's always pregnant. Well, most likely, she's mostly always pregnant when she's depicted here. Did somebody get someone pregnant? And now they're being forced to get married? This Empress feels like another person. Other than the Virgo that I might, maybe I'm talking to, I don't know. But this feels like the other person that is very enabling. There is a level of enabling here coming through with the Empress. And somehow this Empress individual fits into the societal structure. She's, he or she is all for it. And it's this structure that will be coming down during the course of this marriage or relationship. Ultimately, it feels like you have to get into this situation in order to really focus on it and understand what it truly means for yourself. Page of Swords, Eights of Cups. The Page of Swords could represent a child. Page of Swords with the Ace of Cups could represent a child. The Six of Pentacles in your challenge is coupled by the couple with the Nine of Cups. I'm having trouble reading this, Virgo. We're 22 minutes in and I'm sitting here like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm taking these pauses because I'm really trying to feel through the energy, but <clears throat> there's something about a comfort zone in this. I'm just gonna talk through how I feel it, Virgo. I mean, this isn't my life, so I can't expect it to make sense to me. So it's gonna make sense to somebody out there. Six of cups, I'm sorry, nine of cups, six of pentacles. I feel like the, the challenge here is the comfort zone, Nine of Cups. And I'm, I find myself asking, is this really going to be reciprocal? That's the challenge. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Virgo. Knight of Swords. There's somebody's rushing into something. Somebody is demanding something. I feel like that's coming from the masculine side. There is some sort of societal structure that is being forced in this situation. Nine of Swords is coupled with the Four of Fucking Cups. I told you, something doesn't feel right, Virgo. But you're just going to have to get into this situation, ultimately, to see the light. Something is being forced upon someone against their will. But it doesn't even feel like they are allowing themselves to put up a fight against it. Somebody knows they don't want to do something and yet society or their family or something like that is forcing them to do it or is demanding that they do it, or is requiring them to do it. This is, not, this is going to end in a tower moment. Keeping up the appearance, six of wands, being enabling the empress, ends up in a tower moment. I just heard societal structure. <sighs> okay, Virgo. I, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, 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 really hope this was helpful for you. Please let me know how this resonates in the, in the comments down below because I'm pretty concerned. Like, I kind of feel like we're like 25 minutes into this reading and I kind of feel like I'm failing you here because I don't, I can't, I'm not getting anything else other than that, but it's really not my responsibility, I guess. I'm doing the best that I can. So let me know how this resonates with you. 
But I love you guys. And with that said, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>